Hi, welcome back to the show. This is Spirits, Tunes, and the Tarot, and I'm your favorite spirit DJ, Bree. Welcome back to all my past, present, and hopefully future Dreamweavers. And for all you new Dreamweavers, how this works is I listen through my earphones of the spe Blasting Spellcasters lyrics and music. I get my messages through that and other places too. Now, energy is fluid. It can be masculine or feminine and whenever you're supposed to get here it is exactly the right timeline and the right place. Okay. Um, don't take and put those uh, vinyl records into that CD player. You know what I'm saying? In other words, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't fit. But you can try. Let us know how that works in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Okay, tonight what we're getting is for Virgo. Um, Virgo from the movie Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm listening to movie soundtracks for uh, the Zodiacs for this month. And uh, I got Wonder Woman. To Be Human, feature, featuring Labyrinth by Saya. I hope I said that right, Saya. No disrespect to our wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, genius singers and artists out there. Okay. And that song, of course, you know, Wonder Woman was uh, a superhero. And she was kind of like the black sheep of the family. And she was just supposed to be in that little world, you know, that little bubble world of uh, Amazon women. And, of course, she felt that she had to do something different. So, she traveled back and forth in time and things like that. And she had, you know, these special gifts. And she was a warrior. And that's why they call her Wonder Woman. Because she was a wonder for sure. Okay, in this... Uh, song to be human she had to be human and she in that the, the latest movie you know of course she had love she fell in love with somebody and of course traveling in time and you know she wanted to save him but there wasn't anything that she could do even though she loved him she had to let it go in order for things to continue which is really interesting because the next song that came up kind of is like that so it's amazing how this works. Okay. To be human is to love. I'm not ready to give up just because I predicted it. So in a way, you know, just because somebody predicts something that happens doesn't mean they're not ready to give up like she did in the movie. You know, it kind of was a prediction, but she had with the crystals and everything about her love that he would be in a plane crash and things like that. So... So what's the point if 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 you predicted it, what's the point of knowing it if you can't change it? Even when it gets too much, there's no reason to give up. So don't give up. And then the next one is One Night in Miami. And this the song is called Speak Now by Les Leslie Odom Jr. And it's called Listen, Listen, Brothers and Sisters. I swear we'll never find a way to where we're going all alone. In other words, we need to work together. And just like a Wonder Woman, she worked together with others. That it's not good, you know, it's good when we work in numbers not to be a lone wolf. We need to love each other. So, don't take your eyes off the road. You know, keep focusing on the goal. Don't sway it happens but don't sway can you hear the bells ringing speak now can you hear the angels sing loud you know the sounds of the trumpets the message of hope in the whispers of the ghost in other words the message of hope for our future the message is in the hope of our future that it'll survive. And of course, Wonder Woman was trying to save save the world. 
you know? So it's amazing how this song played next. Uh, for the children will grow on the seeds that we sow. Don't you hold your tongue. Speak now. Speak now. So we have to speak up for our kids. We have to speak up what's right. And we have to speak up for the sake of our children. What we do now can affect our children. You know, we've all been there. You know, like I've said before, you know, I want it better for my kids. Does it always work? No, but I tried my heart, my hardest, you know. Um, and that's been who I am all my life is to try to do better, try to be better, try to do my best to want good for myself and others. So that's where I'm at on that. Okay, on the movie soundtrack on Pandora... I'm going to continue and let's see where the cards go for our messages for our lovely dream weaving Virgos. Also, by the way, folks, I'm getting the new cards in. I'm still getting them in. And the winner was Cancer for August. We're having the most likes and the most views. So it's amazing that I thought I would have had two, but it was one. Okay. Let's see. Men in Black. Soundtrack, Will Smith. The MIBs, The Men in Black, with Will Smith. Let's see. Won't let you remember. Like I said before, you know, the walk in the shadow, silence the guys in, with glasses and the black suits. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, phil philosophy, number 28. So that's history, is it not? Philosophy. about deep stuff. So Virgos are like about that. And as far as Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman was about the earth and things like that. Okay, we got the moon. So 67 could be a good number, but the full moon, you know, here we got the heart and the moon. So the secrets of the heart. So they're coming out the secrets of the heart. You know, and it's also to, you know, the moon and stuff like that with the men in black, right? What do we got here? What do we got here? These are a lot of cards, folks. This is a big deck. This is a Tinker Tarot deck. So it is a lot of cards. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Will Smith is a great, uh, I mean, I know we all have trouble and stuff in our life, but, you know, he was a good rapper. He is a good rapper. Forgive me about these cards, folks. It's a lot of cards. All right, Spirit, what do we got for our uh, beautiful burgers? Glad to be here. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Okay, so we got quite a few. Thank you. Okay, we got, they're kind of crossed that way. So we got the Ace of Fire, which is a passionate offer, right? Okay. Okay, and then we got the Four of Earth, which is holding something close to your chest, holding something valuable. Right. And, you know, that's kind of like the Virgo, um, the Virgo, you know, they like to hold things close, especially their finances, you know. And then we've got Waxing Moon. 
and then the star 69 might be the year or a number for you waxing moon so it may happen during the waxing moon it may not okay what do we got why the ace of fire spirit why the ace of fire why the ace of fire why the ace of fire messages that you want us to have. Somebody might be singing karaoke. What do we got? Give me, a, give me why the Ace of Fire Spirit. Why the Ace of Fire Spirit? Why the Ace of Fire Thank you for that one. Moulin Rouge, Lady Marmalade from the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. Christina Aguilera, a little Kim, Maya and Pink. All right, Soul Sister, Satire. So Satire, it's not, uh, number 75 might be of significant and you got the satire, which is like half beast and half man. And he's under the moon reaching for the stars. Somebody may be a star. Moulin Rouge was like a uh, a dance club. Not necessarily a dance club, but kind of like a kind of like a burlesque type of place. Why the Ace of Fire Spirit? Thank you. Divine Light. So somebody, this is Divine Light. Passion for the Ace, uh, uh, Ace of Wands. And we got Venus. Love. The Venus, 43 may be a number. So Venus. Hmm, somebody's love is not on fire, but it may be divine. So the Moulin Rouge was famous for having a rich taste. Yes. So the five of wands, that can be battling yourself. Or the different versions of yourself presenting yourself here and having all these different things going on. And then I'm going to take a look at it when I get done with some more of these really good because I've been noticing some stuff afterwards. So that Leo, the Leo one that I just uh, put up today, uh, it was recorded on September the 7th and then I look back at some of it so it was kind of like from what happened the next day rhetoric okay so here we go so rhetoric is about speaking with a sharp tongue okay you can see the trumpet there so when it's an upside down it means someone's speaking the truth <clears throat> rhetoric rhetoric is a form of Manipulating and saying things to convince somebody of something. And then you got the philosophy here, which is beliefs and learning about, um, it goes along with, you know, the rhetoric here. So philosophy is, is kind of like a belief system or what you believe. And then you got this here, right? So that's like, knowing different things, maybe battling with it. Somebody saying something out here that the, the truth will come out or saying it, what is true. And then we've got three of earth, which is pentacles, which means 
building a foundation there, coming together with others, contracts, forming something there. And then, of course, there's a lot of thought involved, right? And then you've got that, looks like a planet in the background, could be the sun, something illuminated, right? Okay, give me some more spirit. What do you want to say? Thank you. Spirit. Till I hear it from you, gin blossoms, can't make this up. So somebody's been saying something, and they're going to wait till they hear it from the horse's mouth. Wow. Okay. Shouldn't have asked, you shouldn't have told me. So if somebody's been taking advice from fools and need they need to listen to who it is, whoever this is for. So I hear it from you. So somebody's been saying something and now they want to wait till they hear it from you. The memories are fading. Who cares what they say now? So they're just jealous. It's likely they're just jealous and jaded. And they don't want, somebody doesn't want to take the advice of somebody anymore. And, or they have been taking advice from somebody. So now they want to listen to you. Okay, so here's the seven of earth, which is, that's pentacles and that's planting seeds, right? And that goes along with what I said about the, the speak now, because the seeds you say, the seeds that you say, of course can grow, right? Grow into something it shouldn't. So that's called sowing good seeds by saying the right things. And then the Duchess, and here you are, Virgo, the Duchess, the Queen of Pentacles. She looks a little mad, doesn't she? She looks like she's really stern, stuck and stoic in her ways. Or maybe she's upset at what she's hearing. Okay. So somebody's on the outside looking in. Let me see the words. He says, I figure everything is good until I hear it from you. In other words, this person is loyal and they're going to wait till they hear it from you. They're not going to play into it or listen to what others have to say. As far as I know, nothing's wrong with you until I hear it from you. Still thinking about not living without it. Outside looking in till we're talking about not stepping around it, maybe. It's going to carry on. It's going to carry on. Won't take advice from fools. Figure everything's cool. So whoever this person is, <clears throat> they're, excuse me, they're, they're not taking what other people say in. They're just, they're like, I don't, you know, want to get into this. I'm just going to wait till I have, hear it from my friend because that's who I am. I believe in my friend. So there you go. Okay. And don't forget people. Please get your paper and pen out and, you know, go back and write something down just in case. You can also rewind because there may be a special message or messages in here for you. And I do talk about history in here. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, the em Imperator. Okay, the Imperator is a person that's acting like he's an Emperor right which is usually aries so it was upside down so even this person that's an impersonating an emperor is getting i guess exposed which could be male or female now okay aries but an impersonator is the person that is imp impersonating some someone that they're not and then this is when there it's finally coming out possibly okay
So it's an upside down. Or they're wanting to show their real self. Or it's being illuminated. Okay, regulators. Regulate featuring Nate Dog. Warren G. The regulators. We're regulating any stealing of his property, which, you know, we don't want. Uh, you know, the earth signs are about their, their stuff. You know, we got holding back up here, so it may go with this. So he's on, he, they're getting their steel and some skirts for the, sh some skirts for the Eve so I can get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling all alone. So somebody's alone. So it's about, I guess, I don't know if it's about, you know, guys on to bigger and better things than some, some guys on a bigger and better things rather than just hanging out, you know, guys getting up and he's, he's growing up and he's, you know, he's mature now, which could symbolize this, uh, impersonator. So now he's kind of growing out of that thing about going out and hanging out with the guys and just picking up chicks now. So now he's got better things to do than to do that. Must be true. So somebody's down there in the wealth and some they took my rings, they took my Rolex. I looked at the brother, said, damn, what's next? You know. can't believe it's happening in my hometown. If I had wings, I would fly. Let me contemplate. I glanced in the cut and I see my homie, Nate. 16 in the clip. Nate Dog and Warren G had to regulate. He says, I left the gang of hoes over there on the curb. So he's on it. He was on the same track of going out and doing the same old thing, you know, hanging out and just hanging out, doing the same thing every day, you know, and then, you know, of course, he got jacked and all that. So he wasn't sowing good seeds. He was just doing the same thing over and over. Wasn't really going anywhere. So he cha he's changed his frame of mind. And now he wants to, to, to do something positive and grow. So that's sowing the good seeds. So there's more than one message here, folks. Okay. So let's see. Flashlight from the Pitch Perfect 2 soundtrack. Jesse J. Oh, Jesse J. Okay, what flower do we have for our beautiful Virgo Dreamweaver? So, somebody don't know when tomorrow comes. Money the vocal prowess of Beyonce. Beyonce and Gwen Stefani and the 
Fights the attitude of pink. Past life, when tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own, feeling frightened of the things that I don't know. So she's talking about, here we go, going alone, and that we're afraid sometimes when we go alone, that, you know, we're going into something we've never done, just like the past guy. You know, he changed, decided to change his direction, and doing the right thing is, is blessing him. And then sometimes we have to go it alone. Because somebody, she liked the way. Okay, this is number 36, the hero. Can't make this up. Sunburst Rose. There you go, Wonder Woman. Sometimes we have to be our own hero, right? Or for somebody else. This is really cool. So listen to those lyrics, folks. I got all I need when I got you. I look around me and see a sweet life. I'm stuck in the dark, but you're my flashlight. So not going, not going alone and changing what you used to do. You know, people get stuck in a rut and it just becomes monotonous. But as long as you got somebody to love, right? Because love is everything. It is. And without that, he ain't got nothing in life. You're just all alone. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's awesome to change your life and not be afraid of love. Not being afraid to change things because you're just because you're used to something you know how to survive in something doesn't mean it's good for you and sometimes things happen to change that course you know when when the creator or whoever you call your creator or your higher uh higher power comes in sometimes and he changes it up to push you out i heard something a long time ago that people are afraid of change because they're scared of what it might be on the other side, but you know, it might be pretty good. And if it's not, you can go in a different direction, but staying where you're at isn't always good because it's just because you know how to survive and it doesn't mean it's good. Alrighty. So we got the, uh, 36. Hmm. Hmm. That's not the right one. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, sorry. I was looking at the page number. Okay. I appreciate you guys being here, and I appreciate y'all hitting the like button. It helps the channel grow so we can reach more people. We're starting to reach a couple of more countries. Um, number 88 may be significant. Check your angel numbers and what they mean. The hero, Sunburst Rose. Oracle meaning, keep going with what you are currently working on because there is a strong indication of positive outcomes. See, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. See, I can't make this up, man. Alrighty. Positive outcomes and eventual success. Don't give up on yourself. A mentor could be a valuable asset at the moment. Look to them, for example, as well as personal advice as you are being shown the way, rather than having to seek it. So look for, you know, keep your eyes open and look for the way, like you're a compass. And this is by Bill Collins. How can I let you walk away? Against all odds. So even against all odds, don't give up. Don't give up. You won't know until you try. Turn that courage, in, uh, that fear into courage. And if you've got an example to go by, trust in it. Have faith. Hope leads you to faith. Okay. Rather than have to seek it, the hero is willing to take a challenge and a sacrifice for others. True. So be that hero, even for yourself. And take Take that fear and turn it into a challenge. Take that anxiety as a sign of you may be doing something great, right? As 
excitedness. On the way to improving the world in certain situations in order to leave a legacy of change behind. There we go. I can't make this up. We're sowing the seeds for our kids, people. What is it you want them to remember you by? Love. Why is it so hard? They thrive in leadership roles and provide inspiration and motivation for others, especially those that have lost their drive. So when you see somebody that needs a little support or their life's mundane, look at them and see where their gifts are and look at that, those gifts, the good, instead of some, uh, something that's different or, you know, Oh, I don't like them because they can wear pink hair and I can't. You see where I'm going with this? That's what I'm talking about. Stop looking at the differences of where you were treated differently or the experiences. Everybody has experience because it's a lesson. When you pass that lesson, it ain't going to be no more. So, you know, you get the blessings after that. Yes. Okay, if you were to be a mentor, what would you be sharing? Okay, the mean, plant energies, meanings and uses, goals, challenges, determination, courage, improvement, deities, Hercules, Achilles, Perseus, Athena, astrological sign is Aries. I can't make that up. Where's that Aries? The emperor in reverse, right? Be the real emperor, right? Don't impersonate one. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, where is that? I would say that that's one, two, yes. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you, my Virgos. All right, here we go, Danger Zone. By Kenny Loggins, and we know which movie that's from. The greatest hits of Kenny Loggins. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay, so get out there in a danger zone and show the world who you are, my dream weaving Virgos. Till next time, I'm glad you're here to watch the show and stay tuned. Smooches. Thank you.